For those who don't know, the information in this video is based on iCow Doc 8168 Pans Ops. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fly with Shubham and today we'll be talking about the 3210 bass turn which is more commonly known as the teardrop turn. Before we begin, I would like to let you know that my book How to Become a Pilot for Dummies is now available on Amazon and Notion Press. The links for both are in the description below. So in this teardrop time based course reversal, we will have two major steps. The first is the 30 degrees either side of the outbound leg from a fix or facility basically a 30 degree turn towards the left or the right from a fix or a facility and the second step is a 210 opposite degree turn to intercept the final approach course inbound. There are three different types of teardrop turns that are conducted based on time. The first is a 30 degree teardrop turn with a 210 opposite turn which will be of a duration of 1 minute. The second is the 20 degree turn with the opposite of 200 degrees inbound turn which will be of duration 2 minutes and the third is the 10 degree turn with an opposite of 190 inbound which will be a duration of 3 minutes. Now the duration of these teardrop turns is on the outbound leg. So let's say you are going outbound on a radial of 200 from a station and you are making a 3210 teardrop turn towards the left. So you will decrease your heading by 30 degrees which will be 170 and you will be flying for 1 minute on the outbound leg before making a turn inbound. Similarly, if you're flying on the outbound leg with an angle differential of 10 degrees, then you'll be flying on the outbound leg of 190 for 3 minutes and then you'll turn inbound. This is what a teardrop turn looks like on an approach plate. Here you can see the simple basic difference between all of these course reversals. 